Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Star Raid 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. So today I'm going to review some dime paintings with you. I got a message uh, from a lady that I met in the su in the summer. <laughs> A couple months ago, or maybe even it was a month ago, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I went to her garage sale and um, I gave her my number in case she ever saw any more diamond painting somewhere. And anyway, so I got a message. She says, Hey, I've got uh, four diamond paintings. Would you like them? And I said, Absolutely. So we met, I picked them up. So I have no idea what company they came from, nothing that's a mystery. <laughs> so we are going to look at them today um, but before we do any of that I want to do a shout out to a channel her name is Angie Review she is an RV she is part of the RV family and she sent me something in the mail and this is what she sent a really really cute little postcard <laughs> absolutely just so so cute I love it and she made it it's handmade and it says life is sweeter when shared with friends and then it says hello gorgeous <laughs> so really really cute and then on the back she says <clears throat> just wanted to send you a handmade postcard to say I really enjoy watching your videos on YouTube and that comes from Angie Reviews so Thank you, Angie. I absolutely love this postcard. So I'm going to leave it up here so I can look at it. Let's see if I can get it to stand there. There we go. You probably can't see it because it's off camera, but it's standing right here on my little stand. So thank you again, Angie. And yes, if you haven't checked Angie out, go check her out. She does reviews of movies. She does food reviews. Um, <clears throat> I was watching her yesterday and she was trying this new Red Baron um, French bread that had meat and cheese and you know all the good stuff. So <clears throat> anyway, go check her out. Go share her go share the RV love we have here. And uh, yes, again, thank you, Angie. Alright, so we're gonna go into that. Oh, we gotta do our love and light series. Another one of our RV family is a new grandma. Uh, she messaged me last night and she says, oh, guess what? She's here. Uh, so, so sweet. Uh, so congratulations. Um, she goes by Joy, so congratulations. It's just such a blessing to just have a little one born. And um, I think she said this was her sixth grandchild and um, each and every one of our grandchildren are blessings so just so just just so so happy for you <laughs> yeah absolutely just wonderful all right so i mix the cards we have our love and light series today and we will see what we get meow Oh, we have, we have one of these again today. So it says, make the best of every situation because with God, everything is possible. And you know, that's one of my favorite sayings. Yes, with God, everything is possible. And that comes from Matthew nineteen twenty six. So make the best of every situation. So no matter what kind of situation you're in, just make the best of it and just know that you know, you, either you can get out of it or God will help you or whatever because you know what? With God, everything is possible. I absolutely love that message. And I just love that Bible verse. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So thank you. I was watching Doreen Virtue on YouTube. And she was talking about Jezebel, if you know who Jezebel is in the Bible. And there's another lady too she was talking about. Oh, I can't remember her name now. Anyway, so um, she does have a YouTube. That's where the cards come from, Doreen Virtue. 
and um, I didn't get to listen to the whole thing, but I was listening to parts of it, and it was quite interesting. But anyway, so I'm going to turn you guys around because I think you've seen enough of me. <laughs> oh, and uh, we'll get on to these paintings. It is going to be probably close to a hundred here. Oh, yesterday we had this huge dust storm. My goodness. So. Everything was fine. Very, very warm here yesterday. And uh, there's a really, really bad fire um, up by Roswell. Kind of between Roswell and here. And um, if you don't know what Roswell is, it's a town in New Mexico that's got aliens. <laughs> uh, my husband and I, when we first met, um, we went to Roswell. But everything was unfortunately closed, but they got... But we did get into one little shop and it was really, really cute. But anyway, um, <laughs> yes, it's an alien, please. Oh, and I got an alien license plate because, you know, you always need one of those. <laughs> oh, but anyway, um, not a laughing matter now, though. I mean, not Roswell, but between Roswell and here where we live, there's a huge fire, and apparently it's going through a town. I, I don't remember what the town's name is, but please pray for those people. Keep them in your thoughts. Um, yeah, really, really bad fire. And then there's apparently bad fires again somewhere in Arizona as well as in California. So there are really, really bad fires out there. And I know there was one close by um, Bakersfield, too, in California. And... Um, <clears throat> I was watching somebody recording that on YouTube. Just awful, awful, awful. So dry, um, the fires just spark and get out of control. The one I know in New Mexico here is uncontrolled, so they don't have it in control and it was very close to the town, if not already in the town. So hopefully everyone got evacuated, everyone stayed safe, so please, yes, keep them in your prayers. Radis zone, I think, or Radis Sono, or something like that. Let me see if I can just pull them up real quick. And so, yeah, it was just um, really, really sad to see the year. My goodness, couldn't imagine. New Mexico wildfire. So it says, so far, 15 hours ago, it says, Rodo, Rodoso, Rodoso, New Mexico, wildfires claimed two lives and 1,400 structures. So yes, please keep them in your prayers. Um, my prayers go to those families that have lost uh, loved ones in this uh, wildfire. Um, just unbelievable. But anyway, so that's um, that's what's happening in New Mexico. Um, but so you, last night, um, about six o'clock, things got really hazy, and I said to my husband, "I wonder if that's from all the fires, because we're getting them from both sides." And anyway, so we opened up the blinds here, and no, oh, we had a huge storm, um, windstorm come through, and it wasn't even the the trailer wasn't shaking that much, but there was enough wind. And there was zero visibility, absolutely zero. Then all of a sudden, the emergency alert goes off on my phone. Big sandstorm coming through. Well, apparently, from all these wildfires that are happening, it did something with the um, with the wildfires and the thunderstorms. It created this huge, huge uh, sandstorm, which was apparently like a hundred. Uh, if not more miles uh, wide. That's how big the sandstorm is. So I was watching a clip last night on YouTube and uh, one of these storm chasers uh, did a little short and showed the sandstorm happening from space and incredible looking. But yeah, we were right in the middle of that. <laughs> so anyway, that's what's happening here in New Mexico. Again, prayers go to the fa to those families that have lost loved ones, and keep yourself safe. If the heat wave is still going on, please stay hydrated. Um, 
so very important to stay out of the sun unless you absolutely have to be in the sun. If you have to be in the sun, make sure you take lots of fluid with you. Uh, if you're in the line of storms, please take heed. Um, the weather is so unpredictable right now and uh, just so always just be weather aware. And that's my tips for today. Oh, but anyway, um, yeah, just tra tragedy, you know, and uh, we sometimes wonder why things happen, and sometimes we'll never know, right, but um, we can always presume why things happen, but why things happen, we would just really never know. All right, so now I'm going to flip you over, we're going to look at these diamond paintings, I didn't mean to bring a damper to you. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, to you guys today, but I just want to make you aware that's what's happening and um, Yeah, um, thankfully it's quite a few hundred miles away from us here I don't think it will ever reach here because I think it's blowing the other way, but still it's just um, Sad sad news. All right ready for the flip. I'll be right back. Alrighty, you are back. Hopefully that's good and you can see um, here the four dime paintings that uh, she gave me. So like I said, I'm not sure what company they came from, but I thought we would have a look and see what she got. Um, probably came from Amazon or I'm pretty sure they didn't come from Timu. <laughs> but uh or Walmart, because I think a lot of people get Walmart over here. Just say, oh, this just says something remover. Oh, liner remover. Hmm. Uh, they are, they look to be, yes, they're 30 by 40s. Let me just roll it the other way here. And there's the first one. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. It's a pretty butterfly. Let's see if I can bring up just a no. I want a hair down. Is that good? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful butterfly. It has 25 colors. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, but yeah, it's 25 colors. It is 1 through 8 and A through Z, so it is TIDA approved, as we say. And really, really pretty. Oh, the drill fill looks wonderful on here. See, so yeah, I'm not sure how old these are or anything. She just said, hey, I got some diamond paintings. And I think she picked them up at a um, auction. Not an auction, sorry, what do you call it? A, um, um, you know, an, uh, an estate sale. There we go. And this, she picked them up at an estate sale. But uh, She said she was gonna sell them and then she remembered that I did diamond paintings. So she says, well, I would let you know that I have these. So I paid for all four of these, I paid $15, gave her $15 for them. But look at that, isn't they beautiful? So you got the gold and you have the um, beautiful blue uh, butterflies. I was going to call them birds. Butterflies, absolutely gorgeous. Really nice drill fill. Really, really nice. This one will have quite a bit of color blocking in it, which is uh, which is great. Of course, it comes with your little kit, but this one has little baggies in it, and it has your wax, and it has your pen. So, it has that. And then, here are the uh, diamonds. Yeah, I'm not sure. But, oh, maybe I could tell, but no, I can't tell. But here are the colors here. Really, really nice colors. Lots of blues, of course. And there'll be some yellows. There's some golds in there. Greens. But yeah. Really, really nice. Very nice. So that's number one. And again, it's a 30 by 40. Yep. Number 
number one done. Number two. This one almost looks the same. So it must they must have been you know when you get the uh, four pack you can buy like four dime paintings that almost look the same like they come in a four pack kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah, a little bit different, but again you got your beautiful butterflies. She must have known I like butterflies. <laughs> uh, this one has a lot of color blocking in it. What is number one? Three tens, yep. So it's going to have a dark background and then um, you have your gold and your blue butterflies. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, lots of color blocking. So these, this would be um, probably an easy one to uh, complete. This will be a fast one to complete. Uh, this one has 14 colors. And again, they're all uh, in order, one through eight and A through H. But there's this one, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, really, really nice. Like I said, it's, um, here's a drill fill. Really nice and clear too. So hopefully not too much of a glare on there. But just really, really pretty. The stick on here. Yeah. Really nice stick. And then of course it just comes with your basic kit there. And then here's these ones. Really, really nice. So there's all the blacks. <laughs> there's a, three bags. It looks like three bags of blacks in it in there. So yeah, like I said all this background here is just all black. And then you have number seven, which is like a darker blue, like one of the dark blues. And that fills all that up, and then you just fill in your butterflies. But really, really beautiful. Absolutely love this one. So that one. And then we're going to go into a little bit lighter colors. And again, these ones are all 30 by 40, and they're all rounds, so far, anyway. <laughs> Oops, sorry. There we go. This one actually looks like flowers, so we'll see what this one is. Yeah, they all have this little liner. Hmm, and then, funny. So, oops. Let's just let me just roll it the other way here. Yeah, they are on stiffer canvases. They're nice. Not soft or anything, they're just a little bit stiffer. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I've got butterfly and a beautiful rose on it. Let me just uh, straighten it out here a little bit for you guys. And hear the wind outside today. So it is breezy out there. It's going to be about 98, they said today. So at least we won't get up into the hundreds. At least that's what they say. This one has 31 colors. So lots of colors. It has 1 through 8 and A through Z. And then they actually have a 0. And then they have... Uh, four symbols in this one. Lots of colors in a 30 by 40. 
I wonder if this is a 230 by 40. Hold on, let me see. I'm not sure. Probably not. So, no. So the canvas is. So, it is a, um, this one is actually 24 and a half. So it's that. So yeah, it's a 24 and a half uh, centimeters by, let's see. by 34 and a half so that's the size of this damn painting but it is just it just looked a lot bigger when I first when I looked at it I was like oh is that a true one but no but absolutely look at the colors on this one look at the beautiful the, I love the butterflies uh, just a gorgeous diamond painting so so pretty and look at that rose absolutely beautiful there's the drill fill on this one Really nice. Look at the details. So I'm pretty sure the details on the butterflies and everything are going to turn out nice because they're all highlighted there. So yeah, really, really nice. Love this one. Love the colors. Again, it has your tray here and it's got some extra baggies in there. And then here are your colors for this one. Gorgeous colors. Love all the blues. So, really, really nice colors there. Just beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely love this one. Gorgeous. And this one too is a bit of a sparkly canvas and you know that makes me happy. <laughs> I love my sparkly canvases. This one too is a bit sparkly. So. This one too looks like it's gonna be really pretty. Oh my, very, very pretty. And they all have the same toolkit in them, so they all come the same. So yeah, so it must have been like one of those packages of four maybe or something. I don't know. Wow, this one is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my goodness. This one also has 30 colors, and it is again a 30 by 40. So lots of colors for this little painting. Marty, you stay out of there, please. <laughs> he wants to go in the corner, but I'm scared he's going to knock my camera over. All right. So there's this one here, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful roses. And then you got your butterflies on top. Just gorgeous. So so pretty. I've never seen these before. I haven't I've looked at so I've looked a lot of different sites, but I have never seen um, these dime paintings before anywhere there's a drill fill like I said they got the butterflies um, highlighted there you can see around there even the flowers beautiful detail so yeah absolutely beautiful here's a little thumbnail of it just gorgeous is absolutely beautiful and then here are the colors now these drills are I noticed are a little bit staticky um, but 
Which is funny because you live out in the desert where it's dry. Well, look at those colors in there. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful colors. Again, like I said, there are, these ones are all round. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, thank you, Miss Dawn, for contacting me. And uh, like I said, these are absolutely beautiful. And no problem with the stick. And I think I did good for only having to pay $15 for these four diamond paintings. <clears throat> just beautiful, beautiful. And my husband went shopping on, um, where did he get these? I think these ones are Walmart. I'm not sure, but they were having a sale or something. I don't know. He was on Walmart for something and he saw these, so he grabbed them. And the Walmart website, not the actual store. Um, yeah. <laughs> he was looking for something and he uh, got onto Dom paintings. And so anyway, so we're going to take a look at them. I don't care for them, how they fold them in the middle. But that's what, uh, how these ones came. Uh, these are the colors, absolutely beautiful colors. You can see them all there. Beautiful colors. And then this one comes with a bit of a, oh, it even comes with um, labeling. So it comes with some uh, labels, squishy pen, and there are some bags, and I'm sure there's wax underneath here. And then just your little tray. But yeah, a little bit bougier. <laughs> so my grandma would say. And here's this one. Like I said, I'm not happy with the um, how they fold them. But this one's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I love this one. It is of the cross. And there's um, some cloth hanging from the cloth. From the cross. And... It's really, really nice. Oh, this one's really sticky. Oh, my goodness. Very nice and sticky. This one has 22 colors. Like I said, I'm not, not thrilled how they fold their dime paintings. I've had, I've even gotten some from Amazon uh, when I first started dime painting. Um, I ordered some from there, and they came folded like that, too. And I'm like, why do they fold them like that? But anyway, so yeah, there it is. You have the cross, and you got the beautiful flowers at the bottom. And obviously the sun is just setting there, so you have the sunset in the background, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, and it is around, and like I said, just beautiful. So I really like that one, and then he got me this one, and um, it's funny because I got this one last Christmas uh, for my daughter for her, um, this is, I made her one of these last Christmas, <laughs> I should say, as a gift, and um, this one too comes with labels. So there's your labels, there's your pen, some extra baggies, so really nice little kits there. And here's your diamonds. So got really nice colors, purples and oranges and blues. So really, really nice. And this one is of Nightmare Before Christmas. So you got Sally and Jack and Zero. And um, like I was saying, I purchased a painting like this off of Timu. No, was it Timu? I think it was Timu last year for my daughter. And I made it for Christmas for her. And um, my oldest daughter absolutely loves Nightmare Before Christmas. But anyway, um, so I said to my son, oh, I've done one like this already. But I noticed with this one, um, Sally's dress is a lot more colorful 
and the details on this painting is a lot better than the one that um, I got from Timu. So obviously they are different from two different companies and so yeah again like I said not happy that they folded it but it has that little crease but I don't think it will once they get laid out I think they'll be fine but but yeah really really cute so there's Jack and Sally and there is Zero now this one has 21 colors it is 1 through 8 and A through T again just a size 30 by 40 and a round and probably the stick on this one is really good as well but yeah a lot more detail on this um, her dress here uh, Sally's dress, the last one I had purchased, wasn't this colorful. And uh, so it has a little bit different, but it was a very much of the same painting uh, that I did for my daughter. But yeah, really cute. So that's, that's, that's that. So I got that one. And these ones all have the numbers, yeah. I had to make sure that they all were numbered. <laughs> then I got that one. Absolutely beautiful cross. And these beautiful roses. Beautiful. So if you guys have seen uh, these diamond paintings, let me know. Um, like I said, I have no idea where they come from. I'm thinking they... Just seeing. Hmm. They all have different numbers on them. So yeah, not sure. Absolutely love this one. I think out of them all, this and the cross are my favorite. Absolutely love this um, diamond painting. Love the colors, love the pinks. Um, and then, of course, the turquoise in this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And we have this beautiful um, gold and blue one. And then we got this one. So, yeah, let me know which one was your favorite out of all these. <laughs> I hit the jackpot. <laughs> I said, hope you can see all those. Oh my goodness. But yeah. So lots of, like I said, this one here is definitely my favorite. Out of this set would be this one here with the butterflies. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I love this one too. The cross. It's really, really pretty. So those are my two favorites. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's it. All righty. So those were my diamond paintings. Again, let me know which ones are your, or which one is your favorite out of all those. Um, congratulations again to Joyce on your uh, new grandbaby you got there. And um, prayers and thoughts go to all those in the lines of, of the fires. Uh, just devastating. Um, Please be weather aware out there, you guys. So important. And again, thank you, Angie, uh, for the postcard. And yeah, go check her out. <laughs> uh, her link will be in my description. So um, I won't have, of course, I don't have any prices for any of these diamond paintings. Or oh, maybe if the two my husband picked out, maybe, but um, not sure what even what order that one was in it was quite a while ago so i just wanted to share that with you this this morning the uh, the um blessings that i received from that lady um even though i i mean i did pay 15 dollars for but still a good price for those paintings i think um but yeah let me know which one's your favorite all right guys uh from my home to yours have a beautiful day and take care of one another, um, share your love with one another, and um, I will see you on the next one. But as always, what? God's richest blessings. <laughs>